What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here is another update video on clutch number two. This is the GHI uh, Vanilla Head Hypo to a Black Pewter Hypo. Um, so I'll start with uh, the least amount of genes in them and I'll work my way up. Um, so the first is what I thought was before shedding uh, was a GHI Vanilla just because of the such a busy pattern and um, the, just the contrast is a little different than than some of the GHIs that are produced. Uh, this particular mail that uh, that Sire Disc Clutch produces really busy GHIs, so I'm really happy with that. So this one um, is what we believe to be a just just a GHI 100% Het 4 Hypo. Now, if she is vanilla, uh, great, but I don't think she's vanilla because she um, actually he looks different than the the father so uh, a lot darker definitely um, but you know as as they age they may change colors and vanilla kind of uh, tends to to brighten up as they get a little bit older so uh, but this one for now we'll just call it a ghi head hypo so then um the next one is this male there's only two males in the clutch there's, it's a five egg clutch it was actually six, but one died in the incubation process. And this one is, and there's only two hets in the in the clutch, so great odds. And also only two males. And this is the other male. Uh, this one is a vanilla hypo or orange ghost. Uh, I've produced many hypos before, and I can tell you this is vanilla because, at, I mean, uh, when I cut the eggs, I actually thought it was pastel. But uh, there is pastel because the black pewter has pastel, but um, this is not pastel hypo. So uh, this is vanilla with the head stamp like that. You know, it's kind of similar to fire, not as bright as a fire uh, in my opinion, especially um, as, a, uh, as a hatchling. So this is a male vanilla hypo. So there you go. Let me go ahead and put him away and then we'll go with some uh, the females so this is one of the one, first ones I posted and this this girl is a stunner and uh, she is such a busy busy pattern girl I mean look at that look at this is just a great example in my opinion of a GHI it's just it's such a busy pattern such dark contrast with a yellow looks like a bumblebee right like the actual bumblebee, like not the bumblebee spider pastel. So this is the four gene female. And this is a pastel vanilla GHI 100% head for hypo. And some of these guys are trying to escape. Let me go ahead and close this up. But yeah, this curl is just screams for attention right here look at that right look at that head and let's check out the belly yeah clean belly but look at those patterns going up and down it's just an amazing amazing combo right here so and i believe she's just gonna get brighter as as she gets older so there you go now let's go ahead and move on to the female hypo combos. I'll show you guys some of those. Um, okay. So this is what I believe to be the GHI hypo. Look at how busy that pattern is as well. Just, you know, hypo is just goes really well 
with the dark morphs and uh, you know we were hoping to really hit on the black pewter i know black pastel ghi hypo but we just missed on those odds well, i didn't even hit any black pastel hypo so uh, that was just too bad but still hit on a few ghi combos can't can't be mad at that but this girl is a looker definitely right here uh, let me go ahead and leave her right there and show you guys what happens when you add a subtle gene to that combo this one right here is what i believe to be the ghi vanilla hypo um it's if you look at this one just on her own it's hard to tell but when you put them side by side there's a slight subtlety in, in color you know she has a lighter head and overall busier and lighter lighter uh see those the highlights on top they're brighter even if we switch them around different lighting you can see the difference in the head this is a much lighter female so this one is what i believe to be right there you can see the difference uh this is has the vanilla this one doesn't have the vanilla it would have been a lot more uh different um as far as color if the pastel was in it but even if you go do that change in you know color, uh, lighting angles the one on my left is still lighter than the one on my right so um, sometimes vanilla is just a so, such a subtle gene to to uh, mix with other combos that you know you really have to see it um, against a combo that doesn't have it so I'm, I'm glad to actually produce both so I can kind of see really what to look for and uh, the difference between the two so and as it as this these two ages the one on my left the one with the vanilla is just gonna get brighter uh, a lot lighter than this one right here so this is gonna darken up eventually um but yeah these these two are beautiful combos so just wanted to share with you guys all of the the clutches uh as they you know they they shed let me go ahead and put every all of them on the screen for you guys to see hopefully i don't get tagged i know one of them is a super mean one but yeah such a beautiful clutch amazing combos and can't be happier with uh with the result on this i just wish though that we had hit on the black pass lghi uh, even if it was just a hit but you know you win some you lose some so all right guys appreciate you guys watching comment below if you guys have any uh if you guys have any questions or just comment in general uh again don't forget to hit that like please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can get updates um i, I will be making uh I'll try to be making videos about twice a week, three times a week as um, updates are needed uh, to show you guys some of the, the clutches that, that we're hatching here or pairings or babies that are wanted to do a, um, an update on. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.